Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would use a product by the name of Soap and Glory. Um, I actually bought this palette some time ago and I really like it. I've used it several times. The colors are awesome in this. And um, I was at Walgreens earlier today and I picked up Super Translucent Mattifying Powder. I've not used this in the past so I'm kind of curious to see how this goes on. It's called One Heck of a Blot. Um, I also picked up a Smolder Coal Waterproof Eyeliner in brown, and I don't know if I said that right, K-O-H-L, but anyways, it's a really pretty brown, and it comes with this neat little sharpener on the, um, on the, on the cap. Um, I also bought the Thick and Fast Flash Extensions Effect Mascara. Um, it looks pretty nice. Actually, the packaging is really nice. It feels like kind of a higher end. Um, does not feel cheap at all, so... This looks pretty nice and I'm excited to see how my lashes come out with that. And then I bought this lipstick, Sexy Mother Pucker. Um, I bought this one a few weeks ago. I've tried it on a few times but actually I've never worn it out. It's called Fired Up and it is a really pretty matte color. It's um, kind of like a red orange but it's actually, I mean, it's beautiful. It reminds me of a very vintage red. So anyways, um, I looked for some foundation from Soap and Glory, but they did not have any at our local Walgreens. So I think I'll use my Jolie um, Impeccable Me uh, foundation stick and soft cream. This is um, really nice, and I haven't used it in a while, so kind of feel like using that tonight. So, anyways, um, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of uh, Soft Okra Pro Longwear Pink Pot on my eyes as a primer. I'm not using the mirror I usually use. We just moved to a new house and I cannot find it. I think I left it in a box somewhere. So I'm kind of using this, this mirror that's a little bit too small, but it's okay. Okay, so I'm just putting this all over my eyelid. I kind of like this to, oh my god, I need to twist my eyebrows. Anyways, I kind of like this to set in just for a few seconds. I've noticed that if I put my eyeshadow on too quickly, then the color gets really absorbed fast and it does not come on smoothly and it ends up um, looking a little um, blotchy. So, um, the only thing that about, about this palette that I don't like is that it doesn't have a, um, a white or a cream colored, um, shadow that isn't, um, that's not, uh, frosty or, I guess it's called frosty, I don't know. Anyways, um, sparkly, luminescent. So, um, I do have to use a eyeshadow from a different palette so that I could put a base over my eyelid and I forgot to grab it so let me, let me do that I'll be right back. Okay so Modern Renaissance the Anastasia palette um, has a nice color called Tempera. I'm going to use my Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number or anything on it so I'm just going to use a little bit So um, I do like to wear, or excuse me, I like to put on my eyeshadow before I put on my foundation um, because if there's any fallout, then you can go ahead and just wipe it clean. But if you were to get some fallout and then already have your foundation on, then that's a pain in the ass. So I'm going to go ahead now and go in for the um, color called Moon Mist, and I'm just going to use the same brush I had earlier and put a little bit on my eyelid just making sure not to go all the way to the top so because I am older and my skin isn't as um, what's the word firm as it used to be um, and a lot more wrinkly 
I noticed that if I put too much frosty eyeshadow all over my eyelid, then it really accentuates the, um, the fine lines. So that's why I like to use a matte and then just use a little bit of a um, shimmery color. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a different brush. Um, these brushes I have here are all from um, Morphe. Actually, no, I lied. These are from Sigma. The heck, well, I don't know why my Morphe brush was in there then. Anyway, so um, I'm going to grab my Sigma Diffused Crease E38. Oh my god, I sound so fancy saying that. And then um, just go ahead and use I think newcomer. Uh, that might be a little bit too. If you guys can see that, a little bit too pink. Maybe I will go for toasty. Yeah, toasty is pretty. So I'll go ahead and use toasty. And you know, I don't even know what kind of look I'm going for right now. I'm just like winging it. But I'll put toasty right slightly above my crease. Again, the importance of doing your foundation after because for some reason I end up getting eyeshadow all over the place when I do this. And um, I sometimes tend to get a little bit heavy on the edges. And so if I use, I'll use like a Neutrogena wipe after this and just wipe it clean and, and go up, then it really gives it a um, defined line. Some people will use tape to accomplish that look. But I feel like tape is, um, I don't know, I just, it just seems a little too complicated. Why not just use a Neutrogena wipe and get the job done? So I'm just building that color. So I'm left-handed and you would think that I would be a lot better at putting eyeshadow on my left eye. But oh my god, it, I suck. So I just, I feel like I can't even keep, <laughs> I can't even keep my eyes open to put it on. Okay, so, hoping that it looks okay here. So I'm just building the color. So as you can see, these colors are really nice. They blend in wonderfully. Um, and this palette was only 20 bucks. I mean, I think that's, go back to this one. I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, you know what, maybe that's not the right word, deal. I don't think it's that expensive. I mean, yeah, granted, it's drugstore, but um, for the quality, at CoverGirl and L'Oreal Revlon, does, their eyeshadows do not go on like this. So, I'm just gonna keep So there's another color here that looks really pretty. Uh, it's called Chalky. So I haven't showed you guys which ones I've used so far. So I used this one here. This one's called Moon Mist. Toasty. So let's see that. This camera's not focusing too well. And then um, there's Toasty. And then I also used, or I'm going to use this one called Chalky. So this one is really frosty. Um, so I'm going to just use that one very sparingly, um, on the crease. So I think for that one, I'll probably use more of a pointier brush just so that I can focus in more on the crease and not get the color all over the place. Because again, if I use too much frosty color all over my eye, I don't know if I'm using the right word, frosty, glittery, whatever. Um, then it accentuates some of the fine lines. So um, I just use it sparingly. The only eyeshadow that doesn't really accentuate too bad, I've noticed, is Juvia's Place. And that's why you see in a lot of my videos, I always use Juvia's Place because when I want to do more of a dramatic, um, all over kind of frosty look, then Juvia's Place does the job. But because um, these aren't as, I don't, I don't even know what it is, pigmented or so these are pretty pigmented, I don't even know the quality maybe, um, then I'm going to just go in a little more sparingly. 
So, you know what, I think, I think I might have used this brush and have it clean since the last time I used it. So, make sure that I don't have any other color on here. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so, I'm just gonna put some. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna go slightly over the crease. You know, when you put a color like this on, you can kind of go out a little bit more. You don't have to always follow the line of your, the curve of your eyelid or your eyeball. I don't know, does that make sense? Um, but you can just kind of go out a little further. And even if it looks messy, remember you're gonna clean it up so it's not a big deal. So this is a really pretty color. Okay, let's go on the other side. Oh jeez, <laughs> that was so bad on my left eye. Uh, okay, kind of just have to take my time. I can't even keep one eye open, I swear it's that bad. <laughs> Let me try a different. Okay. So. Okay. Sure, I'm even, Steven. That yep, looks okay. Okay, so now, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm just gonna go really light with my makeup today. Um, so I'll go ahead and clean it up. So I'll grab my Neutrogena wipe. And then, I put out my hand. Ugh. All right, so I'll just kind of pull it up. Be careful not to go up too high because then it looks like I'm going to go down that side and it looks like it's too short. Okay. So, just going to wait for that to dry. Alright. So now I'm going to go in um, with, let's see, my foundation. I have not used this in a while. Um, I always use the Real Techniques sponge and this thing is super wet so I just run it under the faucet and just let it expand. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this on. This is kind of a heavier makeup. Um, I actually bought this because I saw a video, um, a YouTuber, her name is... Oh my god, what is her name? I'm gonna like destroy her name right now. But anyways, she um I'll leave it in the description box below. But she used it and she said it was she felt that it was more of a special occasion makeup, but I don't know. I don't think so. I think we could um kinda get away with using it every day if you wanted to because it's a little bit thicker, but it's not that bad. Okay, so I just like to blot I love using the sponge when it's wet. I know some people, my sister does not, she says that it will end up pulling off more makeup. I feel that it just gives it a nice finish. Okay, so. I hope 
eyeshadow is even. I'm looking at it right now and it looks a little bit... Okay, I'm going to go back with that fluffy brush that I had earlier. And I'm just going to blend in a little bit more. You know, I feel like this mirror that I'm using and... All right, let me stop saying okay. <laughs> okay, so, and I said it again. Now I will um, kind of let that foundation um, kind of set in, dry a little bit, and then I'll try this one heck of a blot. It says mattifying powder. I don't like to use too much matte on my face because I feel like, I mean, back in my 20s, I can get away with it because I just, I don't know, in your 20s, everything looks great. You look fantastic. Um, and you get a little older, not that you don't look fantastic when you get older, but things just kind of change. So I like to have more of a dewy look now. Um, so actually I'm going to go grab my big brush so I can put this on. So I will be back. Okay, I'm back. So I have a big fluffy brush. Wow, this powder is really white. Um, it's translucent, but it is really, really white. It's okay, I guess for me, I have very fair skin, but let's see if it's really, it says it's translucent. Okay. So I'm just gonna put that all on. I don't wanna use too much because I don't want to look too bad. Okay, it's nice. Not bad. Doesn't spark anything. I love their packaging. Isn't that so cute? It's vintage. I love it. Okay. So I put that on. Now I'm going to put on some blush. My god, I am not prepared right now. I just kind of thought I'm going to make this video and I didn't prepare anything. So let me go grab my other, my other brush and my blush. I will be back. Okay, so I'm back. Okay, so I have my uh, my blush palette from BH Cosmetics. If you have not tried this out, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's the Classic Blush Tint Color Blush Palette. Um, the colors here are, oh, I have no idea, but it, it says, actually, it doesn't even say. Um, so this is more of a kind of pink, pink tone. They have one that's a little bit more neutral. These colors are fantastic. They go on really nicely. So I kind of just do a combination of a few. So like I'll use this one and then I'll mix it in with maybe something a little bit brighter. I like bright, bright blush. So put on the apples of my cheeks. As you can see, it's so pretty. Look at how smooth that goes on. And I don't remember how much I paid for it but I know it was not expensive. BH Cosmetics is a very affordable line. I believe they're based out of, um, they're out of Hollywood, it says here, they're, or Burbank. They're from California and their makeup rocks. Very inexpensive. So, okay, pull it on my forehead, just so that I don't look, because I'm very fair, I kind of have to get a little, go a little overboard on the blush because I will end up looking ghostly white. Okay, so I'm going to use now a, I swear I just, oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to use my, um, my highlighter. Oh my god, I am a disaster right now. Where the hell did I put it? I swear I just picked it up. Okay, all right, anyways, whatever. So I'll use um, this one. This is the mirror I'm, I'm using to do my makeup with, but this is um, Oriflame. So I'll use the color that's in the middle. This is also a great um, highlighter, so. Usually is the one from Tarte. But okay, so I'm gonna go down my nose, tip on my 
my nose, chin, up on the eyebrow. I'm done there. Um, how about I need to do? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna try this this eyeliner. I think I will probably just line underneath my eyes a little bit. Okay. I used to use eyeliner a lot on the bottom part of my eyes, but I haven't done it lately. So far, this stuff's coming on really smoothly. Um, the real test, though, is whether it stays put and it doesn't end up down here at the end of the day, but I'm obviously not gonna test that right now. But anyway, so far, though, the application is nice. It has gone on very smoothly. Um, so I'm impressed with that. I think I'll probably just leave it like that. I'm not going to put it on the inside of my eyelid. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows next, so I will be back. Okay, so I'm back. I have my eyebrows on, and now I'm going to try the mascara, which is uh, Thick and Fast Flash Extension The Effect Mascara. So let's see how this stuff goes on. Um, sometimes when I don't wear eyeliner on the top, and I put on my mascara, I end up getting it all over my eyelid and sometimes I will wear um, eyeliner on the top just so that I can not get it all over the place. So hopefully I will not, um, you know, I don't know if it's just the mascara that I use, oops, I'm going to flip my eye out, um, that'll cause that, it fits the brush. Okay, so so far this is coming, going on a little bit um, like wispy, it's not very thick. It seems like more of a natural look, but, oh wow, but it's, um, I feel like the length is, th is there, it's, my lashes do look like they're getting longer, but it's not very thick, so I'm going to definitely have to pile this on, because I like to have a thick, clumpy eyelash look. Um, so let's see. It's pretty though, nonetheless, I feel like my lashes do look really long, and it is pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that, let me get closer there. Very um, wispy though. I wish it were a little bit thicker just because they feel a little too wispy. Mm, okay, well, the application is nice. The blu uh, is it blush, the <laughs> brush is it feels good. There's no um, real like strong odor to the mascara. You know, it's not bad. I cannot say I don't like it. It is very pretty. If you're going for a more natural look, then this is your mascara. And I'm actually getting it on top of my eyelid already, my god! I think it's really the technique that I use. Always get it, can you see that? Jeez. Okay. Yeah, well, they look really long though. Okay, so I've put on a lot. Maybe I should try some of my bottom lashes. I don't typically do the bottom lashes. I, I used to before, but because this is so... Sorry, I'm covering my face here. Um, so natural looking that I feel like I need a little bit more. So I might let it dry and then put another coat on. So it's definitely, I mean, I feel like it looks pretty. 
but it's definitely um, a lot more natural. So, let's see, I'm gonna fan it a little bit and then try again. So, as you can see, I have put many coats on. Um, okay, they're starting to now get. I think maybe that's all I needed to do. Wow. Okay, now they look they look the way I like them to look. Okay, that's nice. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay. So if you want them to look um, a little bit more dramatic, a little bit thicker, then just wait a little bit and then just keep layering and you will get a, a pretty dramatic effect. very pretty. Okay, so now for the lipstick. I'm not going to wear any lip liner with this. I'm just going to go for it. This color is so pretty. And it smells like a vanilla cupcake. Okay, I will be back. I'm going to get a Kleenex and I'm going to blot this, so I will be back. Okay, so I'm done. This is the finished look. I think the makeup looks really pretty. Uh, the mascara is a little bit on the natural side, but I think if you um, just go ahead and um, keep layering it and let it dry in between just a tad bit, then you can get that more dramatic look. But nonetheless, I think it looks pretty. The, um, the powder is great. The eyeliner looks nice. The eyeshadow, the lipstick is, I love this lipstick. Really pretty, so I don't have anything negative to say. So, um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.